I met Eugene in 2014. He came to Columbia Industries day program. Started out there. He lived in an approved private home. And yeah, he came. Wanted to not retire. He was 75 at the time, I think it was. At his age, he didn't want to move again. That's what he told us. You know, so we set it in, in place that we have a basement suite and see if he, you know, how he does. There's group home workers upstairs that if he had any problem, we could, you know, access them or he could phone upstairs and say, you know, could you help me with this or that? So we tried him out in that living situation. It was great. We found like he had outside stairs that he had to go up and down all the time. And we found, you know, maybe that wasn't such a good situation. So when we had one of our suites open up on just beside the group home, uh, we asked him if he wanted to move to his own place and have his own privacy, his own yard. Oh my God, it was so amazing. He started crying. He said, I have grass to cut. He was so excited. Do you like living in Cudworth? Oh yeah, I'm happy here. Eugene is such a fun-loving guy. He's always very gracious and thankful for everything he has. He loves outside work. In the spring, I had asked him if he'd like to have some flowers. And of course, that was a really, really big thing. So I took him to PA. We went shopping and he picked out his own flower pots and he helped pick out flowers. And uh, he was so excited. He helped plant the flowers and He's been proud of them ever since, and he's really taken care of them. And he loves going shopping. <laughs> we do once a month, we've kind of been going on a regular basis, which he had never done much before, and now he can do that. He enjoys going shopping. I go market shopping. I went to market with uh, a wine. I go with her and go shopping. I bought a piece of cake where I bought. <laughs> Obviously, going for groceries is a big thing. He's big friends with the owners of the grocery store, and you know, as soon as he walks in the door, they're, hello, Eugene. So getting out in the community is great for him. He does do some cooking on his own, whatever he can. Like, you know, he'll cook porridge in the morning, and if I come there that day, he'll say, you know what I had for breakfast? I cooked my own porridge this morning. With his house, the man is a clean freak, so if things are out of place or he does all his dusting, cleans his fridge, cleans the bathroom, like so when staff come, I mean they do a little tidy up or whatever, but he takes great pride in, in keeping his place clean and having, you know, in case somebody drops over, he says it's always got to be clean, so. Always nice and clean. I do my dishes, nobody sees them on the counter. My counter nice and clean always. He loves to cut his own grass. He loves to do that and he's always like, well, you know, my grass needs cutting. So he's really on his toes with that. Tell us uh, how you mow your lawn. I go right around. There's nothing that I don't think he couldn't do. He actually is very happy to live on his own independently. That was a big move for him, and he's really proud that he is living alone. We're so proud of you that you uh, accomplished that, and uh, best of luck. And uh, yeah, we're very, very proud of you, Eugene. Eugene, I'm so happy for you to have won this award. It means so much to me that we have had you in our program and the progress you have made. Anything you set your mind to, Eugene, you can do. You're very successful at, at making goals, setting goals. So within the next few years, I hope we can help you achieve more and keep you here at the industries. So congratulations again. And like I always tell you, you're never too old to set a new goal or to dream a new dream. Thanks for being here, Eugene. Yeah.